Welcome to Life History YouTube channel. Here we discuss the biography of famous personality around the world. Today's topic is Bruce Lee. First of all, we discuss the childhood and early life of Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee was born to Lee Hoi Chuen and Grace Ho in San Francisco's Chinatown. When he was three months old, his family relocated to Hong Kong and he had four siblings. Despite being raised in an affluent family, he was involved in a lot of street fights and gang rivalries, which urged the need to be trained in martial arts. His first tutor was his father, under whom he learned the basics. By the age of 13, he started his Wing Chuan training under Ip Man. His mixed ancestry led him to learn the art of Wing Chuan privately from Ip Man and Ong Swan Liang. Academically, he received his preliminary education from La Salle College, but poor marks resulted in his being transferred to St. Francis Javier's College. His continuous involvement in a street fight led to his relocation to San Francisco in 1959. As his parents were deeply disturbed by his violent behavior and wanted him to leave Hong Kong to pursue a safer and healthier avenue. After putting up in San Francisco for a few months, he moved to Seattle where he enrolled at the Edition Technical School to complete his further education. Meanwhile, he worked as a live in world waiter for Ruby Chow's restaurant. He enrolled at the University of Washington in 1961, where he majored in drama. Career of Bruce Lee Much before he learned to utter monosyllabic words as a baby, his career had kick started. Owing to the film background of his father, who was a Cantonese opera star, he was only three months old when he starred in his first film, Golden Gate Girl. Ever since his launch into the world of Sovich, his early years of life were eventful. A born actor, his acting skills polished with every film. By the time he turned 18, he was 20 films old. From 1959 until 1964, he gave up his acting career to pursue a vocation in martial arts. He started off as a teacher of Kung Fu. With time, he opened his own martial arts school, Lee Jun Fan Gang Fu Institute in Seattle. In 1964, he dropped out of college to join James Lee, a famous martial arts instructor on Auckland. Together, the two opened a second institute, Jun Fan Martial Art Studio in the city. He participated in the 1964 Long Beach International Karate Championships, which popularized him for his two finger push ups and one inch punch. It was there that he met Taekwondo master Jun Gu Ri, a friendship that formed instantly and benefited both artists. He performed in the 1967 event as well. Meanwhile, in 1964, he had a private match with Ong Jack Man, which he won, though the result of the match was unanimously declared. There are two versions about the proceedings of it. His extraordinary performance in Long Beach Karate Championship brought him under the limelight of Hollywood directors. His first stint of acting as a matured adult was in the TV series The Green Hornet. The show lasted for one season from 1966 until 1967. 
From 1967 until 1969, he made guest appearances in few movies, more television series including Ironside, Here Comes the Bride, and Blondie. In between acting, he found time and started con concentrating on martial arts. He realized that traditional martial arts technique were too rigid and that a new system that had trails of practically flexibility, speed and efficiency needed to be devised. This was when Jeet Kune Do or the way of the intercepting first was formulated. In 1969, he made a guest appear in the film Marlowe. However, biasness and dearth of key roles resulted in him leaving Los Angeles for Hong Kong in the summer 1971. Upon arriving at Hong Kong, he signed a two-film contract. First to release was The Big Boss, which had him in the lead role. The film was a major hit but was soon surprised by his next film, Fist of Furry, which went on to become a grand success. With the 1972 film Way of the Dragon, he turned from being merely an actor to the writer, director, star and choreographer of the fight scenes. Same year, he was offered Enter the Dragon which was the first joint venture of Golden Harvest and Warner Bros. Enter the Dragons was slated for a July 26, 1973 release. However, just six days before its premiere, he passed away. Major Works of Bruce Lee An iconic martial artist performer, he performed in a number of television shows and films. However, the film that gained the most limelight and made him a hero in the West as well as Golden Harvest and Warner Bros. production <clears throat> entered the Dragon. The film grossed about 200 million worldwide. Award and Achievements of Bruce Lee Posthumously, he was listed in the Time Magazine list of 100 most influential people of the 20th century. In 2013, he was conferred with the prestigious Founders Award at the Asian Award. Same year, a statue of him was unveiled in the Los Angeles, Chinatown. A standing seven foot tall, the statue was made in Guangzhou, China, and proudly serves as the testament of accomplishments as a martial arts instructor. Personal Life and Legacy While studying at the University of Washington, he met Linda Imari, with whom he tied the knot in August 1964. The couple was blessed with two children, Brandon Lee and Shannon Lee. On 10th May 1973, he collapsed suddenly while diving for Enter the Dragon after suffering from seizures and headaches. Immediately, he was rushed to Hong Kong Baptist Hospital where he was diagnosed with cerebral edema. He recovered from the first collapse. In 20 July 1973, scheduled to meet James Bond star George Legendy. B, he got ready and arranged a meeting with Raymond Chow and B.T. Ting at the latter's residence to discuss the script of Games of Death, which he intended to make the Agent B. He complained of headache and therefore had analgesic. He lay down to take a nap little knowing that it would be his last nap. He was taken to Queen Elizabeth Hospital where he was declared dead. An autopsy confirmed that the death was due to an allergic reaction caused by the ingredient Miprobamate which aids in muscle relaxation that caused a 13% increase in his brain size from 1400 to 1000. 
575 grams. He was buried at his wife's hometown in Seattle at and his home in Hong Kong is proclaimed to be preserved and turned into a tourist site by philanthropist Hugh Penglin.